DJI is working on an FPV drone and they have finally released actual leaked specs and images for it. Hi, I'm Paul from Drosgeta.com and in this video we're taking a look at all the rumored specs, photos and so on regarding the new DJI FPV drone. Everything in great detail. The leak happened on Twitter by Osita LV, which is someone who has leaked a lot of DJI drones in the past. He's sorts of an official DJI drone leaker if you are to ask me. He's also an official DJI pilot, so it makes sense. I'm going to quickly cover the basics of FPV so everybody is on the same level now. And then go into great detail about the DJI FPV drone itself and what changes it brings to the market. FPV stands for First Person View and is basically a very powerful brushless drone that can be operated by using goggles or an FPV monitor. You can also mount a GoPro or camera on it and you can get some really stunning cinematic footage like nothing you can do with any DJI Mavic for sure. Now, why would DJI make an FPV drone? DJ has been in the FPV market for a while now, with the release of their FPV goggles and digital camera system, they have revolutionized the FPV world with a stunning digital image quality and no lag. Having already dipped their toes into the multi-million dollar hobby, they got the experience and funds to make a perfect FPV drone and enable less tech-savvy people to get in the hobby. Size and weight is a very important factor for drones in general and especially for FPV drones. But this time the drone looks quite bulky, however keep in mind that it also replaces the standard GoPro you see on typical drones, along with the battery and such. More on that later. In the first picture we can see the drone in its box even alongside the DJI FPV goggles, which is really amazing because we can now actually calculate the size of the drone as we have a point of reference. We know that the goggles are 195 by 155 mm in front. If we enter all this data in a size calculator tool, we can see some approximations in regard to what the actual drone size might be. As a heads up, I got the idea to actually 3D print the entire drone and make the model myself to see what it might look like in real life. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that video soon. As we can see in this image, the drone is about 288mm wide and about 220 in length. It has a slightly protruding nose with the camera cover right there. It's about 73mm thick in the middle and 353mm from motor to motor diagonally. I'm counting the edges for that. In the second photo we can see it from a front perspective. We know the motor size from previously being about 36mm wide. If we are to compare the rest of the drone to this motor size we get the following. A size of about 150mm tall in the front part of the body, around 173mm from the bottom to the top of the drone. By the way, I will have all this data and even new specs and images that will leak after this video is released in an article down in the description. So check it out and bookmark it to be in touch with the subject and know when it gets released. You will also have access to all the photos there if you want to see them or download them. We can notice that in the first picture it has a partially transparent canopy, probably to have a better look at the inside of the drone. It could also just be the part that you can easily remove for inside access in case anything happens. If we look closer we can see a circular object in the middle. At first I thought that could be a cooler of some sort and it could be, however I'm thinking it's a high probability for it to be a GPS module, which is something you really don't see on FPV drones, but could be super useful for implementing a return to home technology on the new DJI FPV drone. This could be a game changing as it would mean way less situations where you lose signal and the drone with it. It could hover in place or return to home or something. You can also notice the front gimbal cover for what has to be a moving camera. An interesting feature that I can notice is the shape of the canopy behind the motors. Having a tear shape probably made so for better aerodynamic flight. I'm really expecting DJI to surprise us with some insane battery life here, considering most FPV drones can fly for about 5 minutes. In the second picture we can see the drone in a close-up with stickers on it, probably for testing. We can also see 4 LED strips alongside the arms as well as 4 LEDs in the back of the arms themselves, and the motors being slightly tilted backward, probably for more efficient drag when it comes to the drone flying forward at high speeds. The third picture is where the things are going even stronger. It's a picture of the outside of the box, this meaning the goggles, what looks like the new FPV controller and the drone from a front perspective. You're welcomed by a bit of a shocking image as you wouldn't expect an FPV racing drone to be so bulky. But consider that DJI might have made this drone for cinematic FPV, 
not for freestyle FPV. The main camera looks like it's on some sort of a gimbal. It could be a two axis one, but it certainly looks like it's fixed in spot by lateral part, which could be a motor for turning it up or down, depending on where you want to look. It could also be a, just a servo, which still means it's quite revolutionary in the hobby. So tilting the camera while in the air already brings a lot to the table. What would the resolution be and how good of a camera is this? Let's see what this drone is actually trying to replace on the market currently. Having a setup with an expensive GoPro on top, which delivers stunning FPV cinematics like no other drone ever could. This means I wouldn't expect from DJI to have anything else but a super stable camera in front that also doubles as an FPV camera. But how is the stabilization going to be handled? Most probably through electronic image stabilization combined maybe with a physical optical image stabilization like we see in some high-end DSLR cameras. There was actually a patent filled by DJI somewhere in Brazil, I think, that I have mentioned in my Mavic 3 article on the site dronesgator.com and those could have just as well been for this drone. So it won't have a 3-axis stabilized gimbal because that would turn it into another Mavic, just simply wouldn't be able to capture that plane like racing feeling. Now, will the camera record in 4K? I'm expecting the camera to record in 4K 60fps because this drone just wouldn't make sense if the camera wouldn't be on par or even better than any GoPro out there. This is what Osita LV is also sharing on his Twitter saying it's a 4K 60p camera. What's more interesting about this drone is that it looks like it has two optical avoidance sensors in front, which makes it really unique once again in the world of FPV drones. It could be used for optical avoidance, but it's really hard to do that at high speeds, mainly because you need a very fast processor to calculate all the data and then give commands to the drone. But it could be that it works as a way to stop the drone in case any obstacle is in front of it, and they might work only at a certain speed. Now in DJI they probably also have a bottom facing sensors for a smoother landing, as this is another way DJI will probably revolutionize the FPV drone world yet again. Having an FPV drone that can land smoothly without any crashes and most importantly by itself. The new controller looks a lot like an Xbox controller or something similar to the Beta FPV Lite 2 one and has an expandable antenna at the top. On the inside of the arms you can see two empty spaces in the shape of the sticks made of course to hold the sticks for easier transport, something DJ was doing for a few years now. I'm expecting some switches or buttons at the top of the controller too. In terms of batteries, we don't have any actual leaks or information so far. I'm certainly not expecting from DJI to match what's currently on the market, but rather out to do all the competition. We do have something that Osita LV said on this tweet in terms of specs is that the drone will work with a 6S battery, which is one of the strongest currently on the market. I'm expecting DJI could make a 4S version that might last longer but fly a bit smoother, just for cinematic effect. I'm expecting this drone to fly anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes depending on how fast you fly, but I do see DJI making an FPV drone that can fly close to 20 minutes, and that is way above the current FPV standards of about 6 minutes or so. And by the way, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this new drone. Do you love it or do you think it might just be too expensive? As you can see on the main box, it says DJI FPV combo, so what we're looking at is the alternative of the fly more combo. That's what we've been used to so far from DJI. You're getting the FPV goggles, the new controller and the drone itself. Most certainly some other accessories like batteries and such. The moment this drone is released, I will leave down in the description links to it, also links to its accessories to see what you can buy for it. The normal package could contain either the drone by itself, with the controller being sold separately, but I kinda doubt that, since I don't expect it working with any other transmitters like standard FPV ones, you know, using a Tyrannis or this FR Sky one I have right here. So the standard package would be the drone by itself with the transmitter and probably just one battery. This would be perfect for people who already have the FPV goggles from previously. This drone is mainly for people who wanted to get into FPV flying but weren't too keen on the complexity of the current FPV hobby, although some like it. It's perfect for cinematographers who wanted to take some special shots and who were bored of the stable GPS steady shots of the Mavics and wanted more thrill. That would be me. And the next video is going to cover all the ways in which this new DJI FPV drone is going to revolutionize completely the FPV hobby. <laughs> oh, and I'm also going to try to design and 3D print a copy of this drone since we already have photos and some dimensions for it. That is definitely gonna be an interesting video, so you shouldn't miss it. It is also going to take a lot of work. As for the release date, I know it might sound impossible for it to be released in 2020 as the new DJI Mini 2 was released not long ago, but don't be so sure. We got so many leaked photos now for a few months, I think we might actually get this drone not only this year, but in a week or two.
There has also been confirmation that DJI is actually sending some products to the manufacturers to test out. If by the time you're watching this video, I have also made other videos like the one where I print the drone right here or the one where I cover all the ways it will revolutionize the FPV hobby right here, then you can click on them. I highly suggest you do that. If not, please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you do not miss these following videos from me. And please, please leave a comment down below telling me what your opinion on this drone is and what have I missed so far, because if you give me some feedback, I might actually think about it and include it in the next videos.